Designers need the power to make late stage design changes quickly and easily. Creo Parametric offers flexible tools to enable designers to make those changes without impacting the existing design. In this demonstration, we'll go through two late stage design changes and show you the power of Creo Parametric in utilizing direct editing capabilities to satisfy the needs of the change. For the first example, we're going to open up this front pan part file. From the model tree, we could see that the variety of features that were created and the subsequent references that could exist between those features. As a late stage design change, I've been asked to remove this extrusion and its associated pattern. Selecting on that extrusion, I could see that it's extrusion number two. Clicking the right mouse button on extrusion two, I can simply click delete. However, I'm immediately notified that by deleting that extrusion, I could impact other features that were created in my design. Certainly, I could go back and make additional changes in order to maintain those additional features. But because this is a late stage design change, I need to be able to do this quickly and easily. Within Creo Parametric, we have direct editing capabilities. At the top, we see flexible modeling. This is direct editing capability directly in Creo Parametric. So again, my objective is to remove extrusion 2 and its associated pattern. Utilizing the filter for surfaces, I can go ahead and select that front surface of the extrusion. This will enable additional tools within flexible modeling, where I can select the boss with secondary operations. As you can see, highlighted in green is the extrusion and its associated pattern. At this point, I'd like to simply click on Remove. Having the ability to do these direct edits quickly and easily, I'm able to satisfy the late stage design change without compromising the other important features within my design. Another example we'll take a look at is import geometry. On the screen is an import model where we need to make some design changes. Now as an import model, it is void of any features. It's simply a single object that has been imported into Creo Parametric. Utilizing the power of flexible modeling, we're able to recognize specific features and make those changes that need to be done as part of the design change. In this example, we're going to look at these two holes at the end. My goal is to increase the size of the hole and then to move it closer to one another. Now I realize that these can be defined as symmetrical holes. So the first thing that we can do within flexible modeling is click on symmetric recognition. This allows me to select on specific holes and reference that they are symmetrical. With the system recognition defining these two holes, I can now make my appropriate changes. Selecting on the first feature, I can click on Move. This will open up the new Move Translator where I can now drag on a specific element and move it a certain distance. Having accomplished the task of moving it to the specific location, I could select on Options and choose Symmetry. This will allow me to select the symmetry recognition that I created earlier and both features will update accordingly. Having moved the hole to its appropriate location, we now need to make the second change and that is the overall diameter of the hole. Clicking on the Modify Analytics, I could select the internal surface of the initial hole and modify the overall diameter to its appropriate size. With that change in place, again we could click on Options and we could say and we could propagate to symmetry. Selecting on the symmetrical recognition, we can complete the geometry change. This is powerful functionality that you can do on import geometry. Through the power of Creo Parametric and the direct editing capabilities, we can recognize geometry, make our modifications, and improve the overall efficiency of our design. In these two examples, we have really focused on the concept of design agility, the ability to make those changes quickly even if it is a late stage change. Flexible modeling reinforces the ability to make those changes and not compromise your design. Another area that we can look at to help create geometry quickly, satisfying the needs of, in this case, a design team, we can use a new tool in Creo Parametric called Freestyle. Freestyle allows for freeform surface design creation within Creo Parametric. Unlike traditional surface capabilities, where you need to have a level of expertise 
and also define the overall patch structure for your surfaces, Freestyle does it all out of the box for you. For this example, we're going to look at this front fairing part file. Opening up this file, we're able to see a rough framework for the nose cone of our Formula SAE race car. In part mode, under the surfaces section, I can click on Freestyle. Freestyle uses subdivisional modeling. In essence, we start with a primitive shape that is defined by a control mesh and then utilize that mesh to create our surface geometry. Under primitives, we can pull down and select on our closed primitive of a sphere. It places that primitive on our screen, which we can start utilizing now to create the overall shape of our nose cone. Because this nose cone is going to be symmetrical, we want to utilize some of the powerful capabilities of Freestyle to help improve the ease of creating our geometry. Selecting on the front face of the control mesh, I could click on Mirror and then choose the right plane. What this will do is allow me to control the primitive but have it update symmetrically. Selecting the complete sphere, I can now move the object into its appropriate location. The next thing that I might want to do is define the actual control mesh surface and define if we want it to be hard or soft. In this case, I'm going to change it to 100% and make it a hard edge. With that defined, I could select the bottom patch. I could drag this down to the appropriate size of what my nose cone will be. At this point, I'm going to choose the front patch. And utilizing the new control panel, I can right mouse button and select on extrusion. And then I can start going ahead massaging the geometry. As you can see, I have complete control on the geometry from the vertex, from the edges, to the overall faces of the controlling mesh. Once the overall mesh is defined, I can continue to massage it to get to the appropriate shape and size outlined by the image below. Again, keeping in mind that's just a framework and a, and a reference that I can choose. Going to the top view, we can then select on specific elements and start dragging it out. Selecting on these three faces here, I can increase the level of control. In this case, we'll go to level one. Now I can actually choose on specific components and drag these elements in to start refining the shape of our nose cone that meets our needs. Now we can continue to revise our design, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll go ahead and say complete for the freestyle feature. Now that our overall freestyle geometry is created, with it selected, I can go ahead and click on solidify. What this will do is turn that surface geometry into a solid component, which we could then start creating our cuts, revolves, etc. Now I've already got some geometry created within my model tree. I'm simply going to resume these elements. And with those changes in place, we could see how our model can update and reference the overall shape of our nose cone. If we go back to the overall assembly, we could see how that fits into place. Freestyle is an extremely powerful tool for the novice to the veteran user to create sophisticated designs that meets the needs of the user. Not only was it done easily and quickly, but the direct editing capability allows you to go back and make your changes on the fly to meet your needs. With the definition of the flexible modeling, looking at how we can make modifications quickly and easily, and the ability to create freeform surfacing, this will vastly improve a user's final design.